Hey everybody, it's Halion, and I am back with a new game here, and this one's called Nobody Saves the World, and this is sort of like an overhead, I think Zelda-esque uh, kind of game, sort of like an, you know, action, adventurer, hack and slash kind of game. I read like some very quick snippets of the reviews and stuff. It actually has mixed reviews right now, and I'm not really sure why, because I only saw positives when I scrolled down. But yeah, some people have just mentioned Zelda a couple times, so I think that's what it is. And I'm going to do something, I mean, only slightly different from what I normally do is I have not played this game for even a minute. So it could be a, that this recording never sees the light of day if I don't like the game. But I'm going to try to receive everything blind as possible, including the introduction here. So it's going to be a little bit different here. But let me know in the comments what you guys think of the video ahead of time if you haven't. And, you know, like, subscribe, etc. You guys know the deal. But anyway, let's get it started here. Adventure will be started in normal mode, it says. All right, let's pay attention. All right, big ominous force. Lightning crashes. Link wakes up from bed. Or Isaac. <laughs> You wake up in a small shack. You can't remember how you got here. Okay. Use L to move. Okay, gotcha. I think that was like food. Yeah, like a pee bucket or something. So we have like a little slap. Okay. I got to remind myself to move my face to adjust for whatever happens here. Let's try in the bottom left and see if that's better. So you can see my move now. Like a little slappy move. They are very hesitant to use it. Okay. So it's not a roguelike. Okay, we got 10 money for that. It's more of an adventurer game. Hey, visitor, where are your pants? Oh, you have amnesia? That doesn't explain the lack of pants, but I'm forgetful myself. I'm sure Nostromagus can help with a potion or something. He's only the most powerful wizard to have ever lived. Now, where does he live again? Oh, right behind me, the mansion with his name on it. All right, then. It does indeed look like a mansion, I'd say. I never would have guessed that they'd live here, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta admit. It's not that easy, you know? As someone who delivered food for a brief moment in my teens, I really wish every house just had a sign like this, kind of. <laughs> ah, he's gone. Who did this? Randy the Red? Master, I will avenge you. Who the hell are you? You must be a new trainee. Where are your pants? Show some respect. Why am I lacking clothing? Nostromagus, the most powerful wizard of all time, has been kidnapped. The music's actually a banger already, I can tell. Must have left a clue for me. Randy the Rad. Oh, Rad, not Red. His intrepid protege. I'm basically a master wizard. Nostromagus has delayed my graduation from the protege program for the fifth time, but he knows I'm ready. I need to think. Sounds like Nostro there needs to work on their... Hmm. What's the term here? Keep providing feedback and stuff. So you just gotta break it to Randy here that he ain't cutting it. Make me a coffee. Caramel macchiato, venti, extra shot, half skim milk, half mountain goat milk, 2% foam, and pronto. I'm not actually gonna do that, am I? I think I am doing it. Ooh. Randy, I'm in trouble. Take the wand. Find me. N. Okay. I wanted that coffee yesterday, Slowpoke. There's a Pokemon. Wait. What were you doing over there? This is a crime scene. You weren't messing with anything, were you? Tell Randy about the wand. Hell no. He's a jerk. You're not a trainee. You are officially a suspect. <laughs> Look at this guy's face. Randy, monsters have invaded the Grand Castle. It's covered in a strange fungus. You. I'll deal with you later. Could you move a bit to the right? Oh no! It's a trap door! Oh. The basement. Man, Nostro's name is like a mouthful. Alright, so I guess we got a wand. I feel like I gotta turn up the game audio. Might have to bear with me for a brief moment here. We've received a wand! You now have quests! A well, left button to open the quest scroll. Try completing your quest. All right. We have to look at that. I am infamous for not reading things that are supposed to be read in games. 
Oh, I see. Examine your surroundings, smash stuff, walk around the cell. Okay. So I can smash some things. Hey, bed. It's wet, hopefully from the leak in the ceiling. Ew. Money. All right, so walk around the cell, examine your surroundings, smash stuff. Okay, a broken toilet. That didn't stop someone from using it, though. Ugh. Why? All right, we did one of the quests. What is this, a save thing? Crystal seems to be saving my progress. Okay. This is a star door. You need eight stars to open this door. Oh, it's Mario. Good job. Press, uh, what, what button is that? Select? You know, the quest money, then redeem your completed quest. Okay. And I get that stuff for it. Okay. I don't know what the plus one star does, but okay. Did we get a level? We're now with D instead of an F. Rat? Form unlocked. The rat. Oh, this is fun. Gnaw unlocked. Go to town with your little choppers, restores plus five mana, and builds 15 poison on hit. Scavenge unlocked. Health items also restore plus eight mana. Okay. Escape from the basement. All right. We will achieve that. Redeeming quest is the best way to get stars, XP, and FP. Form points. You just earned three stars by redeeming your quest. You also earned FP form points for unlock the rat form. Press that and select the rat to change forms. Okay, so it's making me do this. Okay. You're unable to transform at this time. But you just told me to. Oh, I have to get rid of that menu, I think. Okay. Let's try this again. I am now rat. I am now rat. A rat or the rat, I wonder. Okay, now we're in a museum. Clear the Nostro Museum Dungeon. Nostra Museum Dungeon. Okay. So, do I want to transfer him back? Whatever, I'll just start gnawing around here. Ooh, chocolate. I don't think rats are meant to eat chocolate, though. Can I gnaw this? I cannot. Oh, the museum dungeon. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's a demi dungeon, so not a real dungeon. Let me in. Alright. So this game came out today as of recording it. It's definitely full of charm already, I think we can say, right? So you got some transforms, which is lovely. Give me that money. The art style is more like comic, right? I do not deal a lot of damage as a rat. Unless I poison him. Maybe. Am I taking D? I am not yet. Okay, we killed that stuff. Can I just hold this down? Oh, I can. Good. I like the sound of that better. Oh, and this way I can, like, strafe, kind of. All right, good stuff. All right, I like that. I like that. I haven't played, a, like, a, a decent Zelda game in a little while. Not a long while, but a little while, I'd say. Let's see. There we go. There's probably, like, a hard mode and stuff. Some some bullet hell stuff going on here. Zelda meets Gungeon again. God, I love a good Zelda game with, you know, the ability gating and stuff like that. Can't help it. But you gotta have good world building, kinda, too. To make it work. Whew, there we go. Speaking of Zelda games, I'm pumped for Breath of the Wild, too. Can't wait for that to show up. I know it's probably not till the end of this year, but... It's hard to miss now, you know? Hmm. Why does this look like a secret? I guess I'm crazy. I should look at the map. Left trigger, it says. Oh. That just opened up the rat menu, though. You have unredeemed quests. Oh, whoops, I didn't notice. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you for the tip. Gnaw baddies, gnaw deals dark damage. Okay, got a bunch of XP and a star. So the rat is now a D. Lovely. What do I get for that? Consume unlock. 30% of consumed damage is leech as health. Cool down two and a half seconds. Cost 30 mana. I don't think I have any mana abilities yet. Regenerate mana with gnaw. Poison baddies with gnaw. Consume poisoned baddies. Oh, interesting. Okay. What is this quest? 
Okay. So now X is the consume. So I want to poison something, then consume it, I guess. That's what I'm gathering. Uh-oh. I'm trying. It's kind of hard to figure out what's happening in the midst of the battle. Okay, okay. So I want to poison, then consume. Okay, and it deals a lot of damage if they're poisoned. All right. I like that. Synergies, right? I also get back some health and stuff. Ow. That's good, because I'm getting hit a lot. Game's a little bit more gory. Maybe not gore, but like, you know... You know, they got the, the wet bed and stuff like that. They kind of got some of the, the sillier humor and stuff. But so far, I like the gameplay. Is there like a run button? Uh, it does not appear that way. Uh, okay, so you just press A to do that. Let's go. Rat's gnaw builds up poison. To apply poison, gnaw an enemy until their circular becomes poison. Yep. Status effects are only applied once they're fully built up. Try using poison to complete your quests. I think I have been, right? Let me take a look here. Poison the baddies so they don't have to die from the poison. Okay. That's fine then. So I want to see the purple fulfilled, and then I gnaw. There we go. Lovely. Gnaw deals a lot of damage. Whether or not it's really, uh, I wonder what the, the min-max here is. I don't know if you're even, if it's even, uh, feasible to, I wonder if it's feasible just to keep using gnaw instead. Sorry, not gnaw. Consume, consume, consume. The longer cooldown one. Hmm. I don't know how I love cooldown-based games. I think I kind of realized that they can be quite difficult to manage. I mean, these icons in the bottom right, they have a simple UI, but still, like, I have to look to the bottom right if I actually want to pay attention to the cooldowns and stuff. A lot of times, the games will have, like, a secondary display, like, over the character that shows you the cooldowns or something, though. So many enemies. Ooh, boy. I mean, I used to play World of Warcraft and Arena a lot and Battlegrounds and stuff like that, so I'm definitely used to cooldowns, but it's not easy to manage like a large amount of cooldowns, I think. That's for sure. But I do kind of miss that gameplay, so maybe this will scratch some kind of itch. All right, whoops, on the button. All right, we completed some quests. Let's redeem. It seems like they want me to just stay as a rat for now. No new quests yet. What's the red stamp? I understand that the top, the, the form points increases my rat form. All right, we unlocked the guard. Form unlocked. The god. All right, all right. This is fun. Sword slash unlocked. A slashing sword attack restores plus five mana. Bravado unlocked. 20% of attack damage is dealt as an extra sharp attack while below 30% max health. But low health, we deal more damage. Oh, and the ranger is also unlocked. Oh, wow. Didn't expect to unlock two at once. I'm definitely more of a ranger personality here. Charge arrow, hold A to add damage, range, and piercing. Restores four mana on hit. Poison tipped, unlock all your attacks, build 16 poison. Okay. Oh, and we got a regular level up that just increases all of our stats, it would appear. That's what the red stamp is. Okay, we got more rat quests though so i guess i'm just gonna keep playing as the rat for now as much as i would like to uh gnaw more baddies regenerate mana with scavenge passive pick up health to trigger scavenge i'd like to look at that again to understand that a little bit better i think restore more health with consume consuming baddies restores health okay so how do i look at my forms let me see change filter okay not that Left trigger. Okay, here we go. Transform. Kind of want to look at the passives and stuff here. We're kind of look at this. There's scavenge. Health items also restore plus eight. I plus eight mana. Okay, that's all it is. I need to find a lot of health items. I guess. Okay, there's the passive. Yeah. New restore. Yeah. Okay. So basically, just use use the rat for now. I would I would like to try the others out, but 
You know, I gotta complete these quests here. God, I got this one fruit fly that's floating around me and I can't stand it. Alright, I guess I want to pick up as many health items as I can for that quest. I don't know, maybe they didn't inspect us to complete those quests so fast, but I don't know why they wouldn't. That's a lot of health items. Oh, uh, but... Okay, I gotta spend my mana, it looks. Because if my mana is full, I don't think it's working. Alright, checkpoint? Teleport? Little boss? Oh, uh, it's just uh, enemies. Anyone else a little disappointed when a boss is uh, just waves of the enemies you've been facing the whole time a little bit? That's okay, though. I'm liking the music, though. Okay, there we go. Ah, real boss? Bonk. Ooh, dang. 501 on that damage? Dang, I'll do that. That crit. Consume. Get through him. Try to poison him up. Bonk. Okay, we gotta poison you. You're poisoned. And 501 on the hit. Boom. Alright, pretty easy so far, but you'd come to expect that anyway, right? Clear the dungeon. You got three blue coins. You found some upgrade tokens. Press select to enter the upgrades menu to power up your abilities. Oh, you can level your abilities as well. Wow. Hmm. So, true even for other classes. Okay. That's interesting. I like that. So, I <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> um. Oh, right, because here's the guard. And there's the ranger. Looks like they're trying to force us to use it on the rat, though. Scavenge gives us more mana. I don't like that. Probably consume. Reduces the cooldown. Doesn't look like it increases the damage. But still, even reducing the cooldown seems pretty good. Okay, so now the next one we're required to be a bee rat. <clears throat> okay, so now we've cleared the dungeon. We get a bunch of XP. Lovely. We still have a lot, bunch of rat quests. Okay, but there that was a dead end. Interesting. Guess we're going back. What about this now? Can I just leave? Oh, I guess I could just leave after that. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. But how did this how does this help us escape? Unless I'm going the wrong way. Let's take a look. Let's go back. Did I get a key and I wasn't paying attention? It's possible. Oh, with the stars. Because I now have eight stars. Beautiful. All right, I think my face in the bottom left works fine, right? <laughs> I have I struggle to like remember to try to notice that. Because I'm trying to focus on the game and providing tantalizing ta tantalizing tales at the same time. Oh yeah, I see. Excuse me, sudden cough coming on. Hmm. Okay. We still have a bunch of rat quests. Which is frustrating because I want I want to try the others. Something's glowing over here. Oh, because we got this. The quest was glowing, of course. Head out of town, figure out what's going on. Okay, that's our next goal. You know what? Let's check out a different form anyway. Just because I want to. Let's check out the ranger first. So that's like a range class. Oh, you have all these stats on the right, too. Do I get... Oh, and then I have different quests. Okay. I kind of guessed that that might happen. So I don't have to keep playing as a rat. Full day to hit baddies to fully charge arrows. Charge arrows deals sharp damage. Poison the baddies. Okay. Is it just the, the four cardinal directions? It looks like it is. And that'll be all. Okay. Out of town, maybe that's left? Let's head left. Hello. We're waiting for a ranger tasked with delivering a message for us. I am a ranger. I guess it must be that ranger. Can you pass an important message to Randy? He left in a hurry not too long ago to investigate the monster invasion at the Grand Castle north of here. Here's the message. We are out of goat, mountain goat milk for your coffee. Can we use regular goat milk instead? Master Sergeant Guard. 
Okay, yeah, I'll be sure to deliver that message immediately to Randall. The King's Bush. Hold right trigger to lock your direction. Oh, it pierces too. Is there like a sweet spot here, I'm hoping, for the shots? You can fire rather rapidly. Like you get the charge go uh, goes much faster than I would have guessed. Hello. Pinkalino. Hey there, buddy. I've got some good stuff for you. Here you go. Your mana just went up a little bit. There's lots of other pirates like me scattered around the world. Try to find us all. So kind of like a... They're probably normally harder to find henceforth. <coughs> Excuse me. Although it only increased my mana from 100 to 104. So it's overall very minor. So it might not be that secret. Hold eight hit bags with fully charged arrows. Charge arrows deal sharp damage. Yeah, I know. Why well, you gotta tell me again? Okay, we completed some quests. One quest. Is it telling me that because I'm not fully charging? I'm not sure. I'm not poisoning a lot. Hit multiple bags with one charge arrow. Okay, let's keep uh, going with the ranger for now. Find some more mana fairies. Okay. I'm liking the combat so far. And it, I assume that as time goes on, they're going to incentivize us, incentivize us to swap between the different classes or characters in order to... Uh, what's the term here I'm thinking of? In order to face off different foes. So it's not... <coughs> Some classes are probably just going to be best, like certain types of damage. Like it's saying this is sharp damage. So that might mean that certain enemies... Uh, are just immune or resistant to sharp damage. <coughs> Some might be better to blunt damage, etc. Hot dog! <coughs> Flummoxed by the readings on this fluxometer. <coughs> excuse me a second. Ah, excuse me. Okay, that's better. Add some water. We're good, we're good. Hot dog! I'm flummoxed by the readings on this fluxometer. Mm-hmm. Danielle the mummy. This is very bad. If the calamity gets strong enough, it's going to infect everything. It'll be the end. Okay. Oh my, how long have you been standing there? I'm Octavia, the witch. This is the mummy. The mummy, huh? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I like the mummy. We're doing f field research and you. Oh, my flux emitter is picking up calamity traces on you. Are you a fighter or what are you? Wait, don't tell me you're with that dweeb. No, not Randy. Yeah, Randy, are you with Randy? No, or a thousand times no. One thousand times. Okay, great. That guy's the worst. My data shows the monsters are protecting the gem shards. The gem was used to banish the Calamity in ancient times. Calamity, isn't that like Calamity Ganon in Breath of the Wild? I'm thinking of right now. If the Calamity is back, Nostromagus in the Wizards of the World are going to need those shards. Maybe you can help. There's one shard inside the Grand Castle for sure. All right, let's head to the Grand Castle, shall we? Okay, me? No way I'm getting... I'm not getting... No way I'm getting them, sorry. It's too dangerous. So, are you up to it? Well, it doesn't sound like I have a choice. Although, that or I stop playing the game, I would guess. Alright, we got another quest. Beautiful. Alright. Let's continue on. I at least want to try the other form. That's, that's the term I was thinking of. Class, job, character. It's form, isn't it? Before I close off today. So it looks like we're gonna head this way. I didn't get to play much as the ranger, but still, we want to feel it, feel out everything first, right? Let's get the god up. Okay, so you just have, a, like, a little slash. There was some passive. It was kind of hard to remember it all so quickly. Oh, right, we deal more damage when we're below health. Gotcha. We're below 30%, that is. Secret over here? Secret? I knew it! I could just tell. Money and some turnips, of course. Classic. King's Bush, level 1. So it tells you... <coughs> excuse me. What level I should be, I guess. Ow, 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 ow. Well, <coughs> I gotta say, it's not a very intuitive uh, form yet. Since I have one attack, right? Can I charge it? I cannot. It's really... It's kind of one-dimensional at the moment. 
I should probably look at what the other quest is. Kill baddies with bravado's plus 20% attack bonus. It's active when our health is low. All right, we got a save crystal. You just walk near it, it looks. Something, someone to spend our money on? I've seen you around with those full pockets, my friend. You're quite an interesting being. Yes, quite an oddity you are. A rich oddity. I'm sure we can find a resting place for all that gold. Call me shopkeeper, but if you buy enough things and call me honey bunny. Oh my. That's cute. Ah, okay. Um, Let's see. So a star charge used for opening legendary dungeon doors. Limited supply. Oh, so I can buy one star. Infinite quest kill baddies. When purchased, this quest is yours forever. Complete it over and over for endless XP. Hmm. That sounds rather useful. I don't have enough to buy both. I don't know if I need to buy that star charge. Right now or not. But it just seems to make sense to get like an infinite quest. So kill 100 baddies and it just will give us some experience. Sounds pretty good. Right? Okay. The round tables. There's a sign on the door. The nice guild is out hunting dragons. Leave a message by carving into the door or come back later. Do they let you go in the houses? They do. Randy's an inspiration when they'd like to be a hero like him. Oh no, who got to you? Randy the Rad was here. Isn't he the best? He was talking to the king about monsters. Oh, freaking Randy. Something tells me it's just trying to get along with the missus over there or something. All right, give me that. Beautiful. Okay, let's head upward to the castle. Another little stone. Odd-looking subject of mine. Hideous monsters have overtaken my home. What is a king without a castle? Nothing but a finely dressed loiterer. Won't you help me? It's an order anyway. I assume you know how starters work. Uh, yeah. Well, neither do I. <laughs> but Randy told me that stars can be earned by exploring them to completing quests. I'll mark the nearest dungeons on your map now. So I have to go to another dungeon to get into this dungeon? I guess if you say so. Adventure awaits. Go on, my dear subject. Show those monsters the royal greeting I kick to the skull. You got it, chief. I'm gonna head right first for no particular reason. Oh, that's a legendary dungeon that is level three. This is the royal territories that is level two. All right, bonk, 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 bonk. Ooh, a cat mage. Remember Cat Mage from Dragon Quest Monsters, who was like my favorite. I don't know why. I think I just like the sprite for it. <clears throat> Superior to Pokemon. Shopkeeper is back over here. The same stuff for sale, it looks. Later, my friend. Hello, horse. There's a wild eyed horse here. Seeing you, it bolts into the mines. Okay. I see. Interesting. I guess that's why they call it the horse mines, huh? <coughs> All right. <coughs> Excuse me again. Coming on at the worst moment. It changed again. Ever since the Calamity showed up, these dungeons keep changing whenever I leave. Oh, is it procedurally generated? I'm never going to make it to the end of the walls <coughs> if the walls keep shifting. Or, hmm, maybe not procedural necessarily, but... Maybe it's only this one dungeon? I don't know. So there are crits in the game. Alright, completed some kind of quest, I think. I'm willing to just take some damage here to try to get this quest going. <laughs> Again, like, this form just is not interesting. I gotta say. I'm sure it gets better. All right, well, let's do that. All right, we got to level up over here. Let's try to level this form first or something like that. And then uh, we'll see if we got a new ability that makes it a little bit better. And I'll switch back to the ranger for this dungeon or something. I'm just going to take the damage because there's a quest that requires me to blow, be below under a certain amount of health. Hmm. All right. I kind of wish there was a run button, but I'm not seeing one right now. wonder if some forms run faster than others, maybe. I'm kind of liking the... Uh... It's very satisfying to kill the enemies. 
like you get these huge waves of small enemies and you just bash them up there isn't much of a challenge yet i'm locked into position while i'm attacking so it's kind of hard to uh you know say that there's a lot of dodging or rolling or anything of that nature did i level them up yet i did all right what'd you get for me help me out here uh, stomp unlocked. Knock op opponents away with their stylish boost. Cost 30 mana. Alright, sounds good. Let's check that out for a little bit. So that's my X button. I don't even know if there's a cooldown. Does it stun them too or does it only knock them back, I wonder? Let's see what that looks like. So I don't want to leave the dungeon without completing it because it keeps changing, it sounds, from the way that NPC was talking. Stomp. Ooh! Big damage. It has kind of a long cooldown. So you really want to save it for when you're surrounded, it seems. Let's get over to the cat mages here. Stomp it up. Your attacks are very quick. You know, there's not a long animation before they go off. Where's the mages? Let's get over here. Stomp them. Kill the skulls. Thank you. Ow. Taking damage, but who cares? We don't need it. Bonk. Alright, let's finish out this uh, encounter here. Let's try swapping over the ranger and see how that feels again now. Might just be a little bit more fun. I think this, this form is actually quite good. But it's very simple. Right now. Uh, oh yeah, where do I get more blue tokens? I don't know, but I don't have any yet. Might just be only from bosses. Wait, egg? I can be an egg? Oh, man. If you know that joke, let me know in the comments. I don't know if joke is the right term, but... Hmm. Okay. A little skull over here. What's that blue? Line them up. Oh, yeah. I love it. Oh, that's satisfying. Poison them. Beautiful. All right. Let us continue here. Line them up. Oh, yeah. Knock them down. Yeah, baby. I could definitely fire much more rapidly than I have been. I don't know if that white circle indicates a full charge. I think it does. So it's very short. Uh, to get a full charge, I gotta say. Which is fine by me. So you can kind of get a power shots going. It's more satisfying when you can just keep shooting rapidly, I think. Okay. Oh my god, skulls. With, with the noises. With the sound effects. Alright. Not bad. I can't wait to get a new ability on the Rager here. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, let's see. Do we level them up? Let's level that ranger. Oh, yeah. I like the pigtails. What do we get? We got arrow flurry. Hold the fire flurry of arrows. Cost 45 mana per second. Okay, so that sounds pretty good. There's got to be some kind of cooldown. I mean, that means it'll fi only fire for a couple seconds as it is. So that's our X ability now. Sounds good. Let's continue. Head off to the right. This is also kind of reminding me a little bit of Death's Door right now, but... I mean, that's because you had, a, like, a bow and arrow the whole time. Oh, boss. Potentially a boss. Oh, look at it go! Ooh, that was the arrow flurry. I like that. Once again, not actually a boss. A little disappointing, but... I am understanding. I am merciful, if anything. All right, use the ability. Beautiful. Flurry it up. I took a lot of damage there. Fine, there's a turn up here and a chocolatey bar. One more cat mage randomly. Okay. Kind of odd. Got to get back some mana. Oh! Am I wrong about the challenge here? Oh, boy. Use it! Kapow, 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 kapow. 
think you get back mana per hit too, or maybe it's only per regular hit. I'm not sure. Seems like the enemy spawned on like a timer, and that's why the mage came out at the time that it did. Come on! I feel like I'm using Hades reflexes for the bow shots, but it's way faster than that. There's our chest, and we got a ton of quests complete here. Poison the baddies, done. Beautiful. Kill 100 baddies, also beautiful. Nice. I'm glad we picked that up first, I think, still. Because that'll give us a lot of EXP over time. Oh. Uh, oh, and that's it. I'm very close to fishing another, though. There, the horse mines is done, apparently. And we got three blue tokens. Wonderful. Oh, free the horsies. The little ponies. The horse lets out a whinny. Maybe it's thanking you, or maybe it wants you to get out of the way. It went around us. I think it wanted us to get out of the way. All right. Quest discovered. Fall in love. What do you mean? I don't want to fall in love. Okay, there we go. Experience unbridled love. What? Okay, collect stars by... Yep, okay. We know all that. There's a little teleport to get out of here. Let's go. Uh, what's up here, though? Oh, nothing. It was just a dead end. I just so happened to go the right way. Okay. And it looks like that's it. Oh, I got another quest complete. Beautiful. All right. Well, a couple small dungeons done. So my first impression of the game while we wrap up this video is it's actually really nice. I like the artwork. I think the music's really well done. The combat's actually really fun and fluid as as it is at the moment. And it looks like there's going to be a lot of variety. So, yeah, if you're looking for a Zelda-esque game, I think this might be it for you. But all right, guys, uh, we'll check it out for later. We shall continue the series. We're probably just going to play through the whole game. I think it's safe to say that this uh, recording will not end up in the void. <clears throat> and yeah, let me, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, you guys know the rest. All right. Have a beautiful rest of your day. And I'll see you later. Bye. Hey, YouTube. Make sure you come visit my Twitch streams for all the best cursed content ever at twitch.tv slash every Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday starting at 12 p.m. EDT.